Ladies and gentlemen, please turn off all cell phones. The ceremony will start in five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the procession of graduates and the stage party.
please remain standing for the national anthem and invocation by Chaplain Park. Let us pray. Almighty God, we assemble here today celebrating the personal achievement of these graduates. While it's readily apparent that the Institute and her character have influenced these students, the larger effect of VMI upon their lives is yet to be realized. Over time, living in these barracks and studying in these classrooms, hearing taps played at the end of each day, submitting to the disciplines of the Blue Book and the uniformed authorities who uphold it, being awakened at 0330 hours by an abrupt, startling staccato drum roll reminding every cadet of a living, enduring honor code, standing at attention in parade listening to the sound of our national anthem. These cadets have over time learned the worth of self-discipline, honor, sacrifice, patriotism, teamwork, friendship, and brother rat loyalty. The rigors of what seem to be unreasonable academic demands Relentless constraints on their time and countless physical challenges tested their personal stamina and fortitude, but they were not found lacking. Grit and determination, perseverance and faith steadied and strengthened them as they continued toward their goal to become a VMI graduate. Welcoming the challenges of increased responsibility, they've matured and grown confident, becoming men and women imbued with leadership, honor, and a sense of service. For these incredible achievements and this long-awaited day of celebration, we give you thanks, O oh God. Thanks for the excellent academic opportunity that has equipped them, for the military training and structure that shaped them, for the brother rat spirit that comforted and encouraged them, for the family and friends that lovingly supported them, and for the institute that prepared them to be VMI's next generation of citizen soldiers. For all of this, and all that's yet to be realized, we offer to you our sincere thanks in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. Graduating first classmen, faculty and staff, families and friends, good morning and welcome to the December 2014 commencement exercises at the Virginia Military Institute. Whether the ceremony takes place on the traditional day in May, 16 May, or in December, it is a proud occasion marking an important achievement on the road of life. Joining me on the stage today are VMI Board of Visitors President, Mr. Pete Ramsey, VMI's Deputy Superintendent for Academics and Dean of the Faculty, and today's graduation speaker, General Jeffrey G. Smith, Jr., VMI's Deputy Superintendent for Finance, Administration, and Support, General Robert Green, VMI Class of 1967, VMI's Registrar, Colonel Janet Battiglia, and VMI Chaplain, Colonel James Park. My thanks this morning to the parents, grandparents, and special friends that had guided, supported you on this long road from matriculation to graduation. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. 
Your journey has been accomplished. You are now about to join the legions of men and women, alumni, past and present, whose aim has been and is to make a difference in our world. And on behalf of the entire VMI community, I congratulate you and salute you and say well done. Stay in touch with the Institute in the years ahead, and I, I give you our very best wishes for success. I now have the great pleasure of introducing your speaker for this occasion, General Jeffrey G. Smith, Jr., Dean of our faculty. Some of you may not know General Smith. He assumed this office in May, replacing Brigadier General Wayne Schneider, who returned to the teaching faculty in the Department of Civil and Environment Engineering. General Smith came to VMI from Alexandria, Virginia, having retired last year after a distinguished 33-year career in the United States Army. He did not come to VMI as a stranger. General Smith was himself a distinguished military graduate in the VMI class of 1979, graduating with Bachelor of Arts degrees in English and Biology. His father, Colonel Jeffrey G. Smith, class of 43, was Commandant of Cadets from 1960 to 1963 during the superintendency of Lieutenant General Schell. General Smith early on served in Europe in the Pershing II Nuclear Missile Command business and later served as an instructor at Princeton University from which he holds the PhD degree in English literature. He also taught at the United States Military Academy at West Point. He has served in command and leadership and staff roles in Bosnia, Herzegovina, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Europe. He concluded his military career as the Deputy Commanding General of the Army's Cyber Command. He is the author of several books, including The Literature of Disillusionment, Public War Correspondence from Waterloo to Quezon. He is an accomplished guitarist, and sometimes he can be found on Wednesday early mornings, schedule permitting, playing at the Lexington Coffee Shop, music with other local musicians. VMI is fortunate indeed to have such a multi-talented leader, teacher, scholar, and yes, musician in the office of the Dean of the Faculty. Please join me in welcoming Brigadier General Jeffrey, C Jeffrey G. Smith. Thank you, General P. Welcome, Mr. Pete Ramsey and other distinguished guests. A special welcome to the faculty, the staff, the friends, the family, the loved ones of these graduating cadets. We had a commissioning ceremony yesterday for a few of you. And during it, I brought the folks, that uh, the young cadets that were being commissioned, and I said, give me some advice. What do you want me to talk about? And one of them thought about it. Two of them didn't have anything to say. One of them stood forward and he said, well, here's how the speech ought to go. Welcome, congratulations, dismissed. <laughs> I'm serious. You'll not be a politician any day soon. A good infantryman, perhaps. And congratulations to, most especially to you all, right before me. You've survived the most rigorous college experience that I know of. But you know it's a collective effort here at VMI. It takes a concerned, engaged faculty and staff. It takes the generous and courageous contributions of all the alumni whose own personal example established and enhanced the reputation that you're going to, you're going to leverage. And it takes the love and sustained support of your own families. Make sure you let them know the role they have played in your ability to earn this most esteemed of diplomas. I always look forward to addressing cadets, but today I'm especially fortunate to speak in front of such a happy group of VMI men and women. First, you get to graduate in JM Hall with its flying buttresses, worn wood, stiff angled pews, and vaulted ceiling, JM Hall is austere, modest, and somehow grand all at once. It is the architectural companion of the VMI mission and the perfect place to graduate. My class, though, graduated in Cock Hall. That's where cadets Box, 
and wrestle and lift weights and play basketball in the unconditioned heat. And while I remember nothing about my commencement day nor its speaker, I am certain that the place from which I received my diploma smelled like a gymnasium. <laughs> the odor of athletics settling like a fine dust on all of us. Second, you get to share the stage with the members of the classes of 2008, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. This is fitting, for your lifelong journey will be lit by a galaxy of living VMI graduates who in their sum have played meaningful roles in the most meaningful events in our nation's history these last 80 years. Third, you are happy because today formally ends your cadetship. No more placing your bed vertically up against the wall like an ironing board in a very small cramped New York City flat. No more entering the brisk night air to reach your communal outhouse. You are about to enjoy some uninterrupted time with the amenities of a modern lifestyle. Although it is about time you learn to fold your own undergarments. Enjoy the life of an ordinary college graduate while you can, because the life of a citizen soldier will make you restless for adventure. Many, if not all of you, will occasionally find yourself in circumstances against which your years at VMI under the benign supervision of the Commandant and his benevolent staff will compare quite favorably. So with your permission, I'm going to postpone the beginning of this adventure by 10 minutes. That's what I negotiated with the commissioning folks yesterday. 10 minutes. First of all, all good trips begin with an inventory. So we're going to take stock of the personal possessions with which you depart today. Second, we'll in visualize for a qu quick moment the unpredictable path your adventure to serve this nation will take. And finally, I'll bring us back home. All things come full circle to this place, on this VMI post, in this most hallowed of halls, where in a few moments you will break ranks with the Corps of Cadets. Inventory will start. I spent the night that followed my own graduation alone in barracks with a regimental XO. There were only two of us. Utter silence. We were planning a bicycle trip the next day and got permission to spend the night there. The stoops were a post-apocalyptic scene of ruin. Bent shakos, stained ducks, there is nothing worse than stained ducks. Discarded robes, scuffed shoes without a hint of polish, ripped chevrons, Bob Dylan albums. How anyone could discard those, I, I can't imagine. Coatees, even a few of the great gray coats, all strewn about as if thrown from a speeding car. In their haste to escape, many cadets left behind artifacts that over time would grow in sentimental value. So today, with the help of your parents, secure the stuff that matters. Make sure to include a hard copy of an English paper well marked up with lots of exclamation marks. Put those artifacts in two boxes. Mark them miscellaneous. Store them in your parents' basement. You'll live to regret it if you don't. Just ask me. The rest of your remaining possessions can fit in the palm of your hand. First, your diploma. It is paper, but boy, it is powerful. It means not only to you, but to the rest of the world, that you've been introduced to a range of human knowledge. You have respect for that knowledge, all disciplines, and you've developed a passion for one or two of them. The diploma means that you have earned a reputation for behavior that has been found worthy in the eyes of your peers, your mentors, and those who have observed you. The diploma that you have earned the diploma means that you have character and can perform at high levels under conditions that are disadvantageous. Next to the diploma is your honor. It's a moral code shaped like a compass. Its needle is always pointing true north. It fits in the palm of your hand and represents the supreme achievement of your cadetship. After honor comes the ring. When raised in a certain way, it conjures a room full of brother rats, hoisting beers as if they had just returned from the Oktoberfest in Munich. Those BRs will be there at every meaningful event of your life. 
from marriage to the births of your children and to your own death. After the ring is humor. You can't survive without it here. I talked to another cadet, commissioned yesterday, asked him what his major was. He said, international studies. However, I started off as a mechanical engineering major, and then I fell down the hill of science. That's VMI humor. Irreverent, self-effacing, but life-affirming. The last item on your inventory is the alumni. No need to find a place for them anywhere in your pockets. They are everywhere. Inventory complete. So now I'll, I'll look ahead. I talked to another cadet uh, commissioned yesterday. His intent is to go out to Colorado, Fort Carson. I was thinking to myself, my goodness gracious, that's the home of the 3rd Cavalry. He's talking about charging in the vanguard of securing the nation. And I asked him why, expecting him to say this, and he said, that's where my girlfriend lives. <laughs> so let's take a short, very short, virtual tour of your future by way of an episode of my favorite television show, The Walking Dead. <laughs> a virus has entered the human population, converting humans into flesh-eating zombies. Ah. Survivors organize themselves into groups for security purposes. A character whom all called the Brother Rat is part of a good guy group that has been decimated by a rival, rival bad guy group. Brother Rat is now separated from his fellow citizens, one of whom is his wife. He finds himself under attack by a multiplying horde of zombies who want to eat his flesh. But Brother Rat is rescued by an armed convoy led by an army sergeant. The sergeant's mission is to provide escort for a scientist who claims to be able to kill the virus and save the world. Does the Brother Rat join the relative safety of an armed convoy with its lofty mission of rescuing the world? Or does he set out on a hopeless effort to overcome zombies on his own, elude roving gangs, and reunite with his comrades and wife? Well, you know, there is no choice here. How can he save the world if he won't try to restore the only nation he knows, the small local group from which he'd been separated, a group to which he owes his life, a group that is led by good men and women operating under rules that are ethical. I believe that is how most VMI graduates end up serving their nation, by doing right for their local teams, by forging bonds that come with strings, and those strings will pull you every which way. So, full circle, now back to the present. Look ahead at this extraordinary painting in the background. It is, fittingly enough, a hundred years old today, but commemorates the events of our great moment where the Corps of Cadets marched into the Battle of Newmarket. Do you see the cadets, some of them with their mouths agape and open? You see a few of them? Looks as if they're trying to say something to their brother rats. We know from the archives that at least two of these cadets were in regular conversation during the charge. One is Cadet Porter Johnson, who has observed Cadet Cock, quote, unconsciously veering off course. He screams at him, close up, Cock, close up. Cadet Cock wasn't happy with that correction, but he did as he was told. Cock then noticed that Cadet Porter Johnson himself had veered off to the right. So Porter Johnson, so Cock screams at him, Johnson, damn it, you close up yourself. You've been hollering at me all day to close up. Now, damn it, you close. Sounds like parade ground talk. But it isn't. It's battlefield business. And breaks in line meant sure defeat and almost certain death. Said another way, this painting captures the precise moment when 240-plus cadets transitioned from the VMI parade ground to a national battleground, and in so doing, left their youth behind. This painting, quite literally, depicts their commencement day. With a little imagination, you can see how the curved line of the left flank of the New Market Corps, see it behind me, see how it extends out to you if you just close the gap. In a couple of moments, 
You'll cross this stage and you will do as Porter Johnson and Cadet Cock did. You'll close up with this new formation. You, like they were, are young adults prepped and predisposed for a life of adventure and service. With your diploma in hand, reputation assured, the ring on your finger, and your honor as your guide, welcome. Thank you. Will the candidates for graduation please rise? The Academic Board has presented to the Board of Visitors all candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree and all candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree, all of whom have been certified to have completed the requirements for graduation from the Virginia Military Institute. General P. By the authority of law vested in the Board of Visitors and our faculty, I confer upon each of you a diploma and testimony of you being a graduate of the Virginia Military Institute and award you the bachelor degree appropriate to your major field of study. Please be seated and come forward as your name is called. General Smith, will you please read the names of our graduates? Distinguished graduates, Michelle Ashley Church, Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology. Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Mathematics, Alexander Donald Falsetti, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Hannah Elizabeth Maxine Gilbert. Friedrich J. Haller. Bachelor of Science degree in Biology. Jeffrey Lawrence Nutter, minor in Chemistry. Bachelor of Science degree in Chemistry. Jordan Richard Hollowell, Concentration in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering. Zachary Asa Hill. Matthew Michael Ray, second lieutenant, United States Army. Carson Merritt Town. Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, John Delaney, Washington. Dwayne Hyman Wentz, Jr. Bachelor of Science degree in Electrical and Computer Engineering, Donald Donald DeCiro, the third. Justin M. Wietinghoff. Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering, Daniel Aguirre. Concentration in Nuclear Engineering, minor in Mathematics, minor in Physics, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Victor L. Roberts. Bachelor of Science degree in Psychology, Brett Christopher Nichols, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Bachelor of Arts degree in Biology, Micah Joseph Hostler with distinction. Bachelor of Arts degree in Economics and Business, Bronson Taylor Cox. John Nichols Dalton III. Michael John Maloney.
Andrew Michael Marcot with distinction. Benjamin J. Osen. Trey Bishop Patterson. Joseph Logan Pinotti with distinction, concentration in financial management. Lauren Nicholas Rolls. William Flather Sheehan. Logan Christopher Sorensen. Logan A. Stibe. John Patrick Stansbury. Bachelor of Arts degree in English, Lucas Nathaniel Champion. Matthew Edward Spaulding. Bachelor of Arts degree in History, Timothy P. Green. Zachary Grant Jones. Alex D. Kowaleski. Jared Austin Marlowe. Bachelor of Arts degree in International Studies. Scott Thomas Pease, minor in Economics. James Andrew Shepard, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology. Charles Bryant Klopper. Patrick Dean Goulden. Jonathan Suma Hampton. Tyler Ashton Owens, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Samuel Pendleton Pace, Jr. James Ellison Watkins III. Conrad Kemper Wharton, Jr. with distinction, minor in business. Donald Grant. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 December graduates of the Virginia Military Institute. So Chaplain Park will now offer the benediction. After the benediction, this ceremony is concluded. Just a short reminder, there will be a reception in Moody Hall immediately following the ceremony for all graduates and their families and guests. We hope you'll be able to enjoy us. Chaplain Park. Let us pray. We stand before you, Almighty God, grateful that you know each one of us individually by name. We're thankful, Father, for that personal awareness you have for each one of us. 
We commend each of these graduates into your care, asking your blessing upon them, God, that they might go from this place doing great things, continuing to uphold the reputation of the Virginia Military Institute. We ask in your holy name. Amen.